Welcome back to Just Books. Breaking news. This one is spelled B-R-A-K-I-N-G, as in a car or a bus coming to a grinding halt. But in fact, it's a racy romp by NDTV correspondent Sunetra Chaudhry, who really took the NDTV Election Express last year and went up and down the country reporting the great election of 2009. Sunitra, it's the most delightful reporter's you, account Sunitra. of what it was like for two girls to be on that NDTV Election Express for two full months without a break, touring 40 cities in the heat of summer, and you really bring alive what really happens in grassroots in the great battleground of an Indian election. But what was it like when you first heard that you were going to be the girl on the bus? Thank you so much, Sunil, first of all, for those really kind words. And actually, you know, you've read the book. You've seen the kind of nervous tension we were all going through. But, you know, it, it, it's a dream, basically. And you, you know how it is in NDTV and Barkha and Sonia, everyone being there, everyone so high energy, basically. And everyone wants that big assignment. So I got my big assignment and this was it. Right, with a great deal of uh, excitement, but also no doubt trepidation. Yeah, because uh, you said 40 cities. Most of these places weren't really cities. There were a lot of small towns, places that we hadn't heard of, uh, you know, going through, traveling about 300 kilometers every day. What was exciting though, why this book, uh, I mean, at the end of it all, of course, we got this amazing book of, uh, full of, you know, what the memories that we had and uh, all kinds of adventures, uh, like uh, our driver turning into this uh, person running after chicken and cutting them and this super cooking. cook <laughs> yeah cooking chicken curry right on the road in uh, Baroda on the uh, road to Baroda so we had all these kind of adventures when you're going through it of course and it's 45 degrees in Odessa when you're going through it it's not that much fun but looking back it was the best adventure of my right. life absolutely grueling it sounds especially if you've got to produce several half hours yeah. virtually live every, day. every single day every half day. an hour going yeah. on air yeah. getting appointments you know yeah. out in the boondocks and by lanes of rural or small town India as you say how tough was it even though you had the glamorous, beautiful Hindi anchor Nagma Seher as a colleague. That's right. Nagma was actually the saving grace, Sunil. Uh, for all of us who are in TV, we know Nagma has been the kind of iconic uh, Hindi journalist that there is. Uh, as soon as Hindi TV journalism started and we saw the TV boom, uh, one of the first people that people recognize and kind of associate TV with is Nagma Seher. And for me, it was interesting because, you know, I'm a print journalist and uh, I'm from the Indian Express. Indian Express, uh, impressive though it is, and it does fantastic journalism, but it's read by limited number. It's got a niche audience. So I'm a reporter from the Indian Express who's now come to NDTV. And in NDTV also, you know, I'm one of those unknown reporters who just stands in the background and observes Very things. Very modest, not quite <laughs> no, unknown, so no, it's true, it's true. But what is interesting, the point you are making, yeah. as you again and again point out in Breaking yeah. News, is your transition from a print journalist right. to a television anchor and reporter. Two completely different kettle of fish, aren't they? No, definitely. And, you know, uh, in one way, the book is about the elections and the politicians that we meet, uh, whether it's Jyotiraditya, Varun Gandhi, and these were all big names, uh, Sachin Pilot, and it's about them and what the campaign was about. And, of course, the usual journalist question, who's going to win, whether the Congress is going to come back, how UP is working, uh, NRGA scheme, on the ground, how does it work? You know, the whole democracy, question of democracy, how does it work? But at another level, Sunil, what was important for me was that, you know, at NDTV, we always hear people saying that everyone wants to be a Barkhadat. Everybody wants to be a TV anchor. I'm an anchor. But what was interesting for me to show people that it's not that glamorous, really. I mean, we're just standing there. Uh, and as you would have read in the book, uh, you know, it's not very glamorous. You're sleeping there outside. Uh, you're, you're just sitting in a bus for six, seven hours every day. Uh, it, Yes, at the end of it, you also meet people like Irfan Patan's family. How many people get to meet Irfan Patan's family? And they're lovely. In the book, you would have read how interesting it is to go to Irfan Patan's house and see that he likes to have a goat as a pet, you know, and this beautiful Persian cat. So uh, what, what I wanted to show was a little behind the scenes because there's so much interesting. Behind